if God is your leader, what follows is that you shall not want. His leading is what guarantees your supplies. I, am I talking to a church here? He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Let's read verse 2. He may get me to lie down in green pasture. That talks about freshness. That talks about divine supply, daily supplies. That is, God can lead you and you are running out of money. But your problem is that you are leading yourself. God is not the one leading you. You saw it there. He said, when God is your shepherd, the first benefit is that you shall not lack. Another word for want is that you shall not lack. Divine direction is so important, is so vital to divine supplies. God will only fund those that he leads. If he's your leader, he will be your funder. Now listen to this. If he's your leader, he will be your backer. Am I talking to somebody here? If he's the one leading you, who is that person to deny you that contract? If he's the one leading you, who is that person to deny you of that job? That is why this week, I decree as a prophet of God, stretch your hand, stretch your hand towards me. This week, this week, you will have unusual supplies. Yeah. That amen is not sound enough here. Yeah. Wherever you are, outside, inside, I make a decree. You will know that God has visited you this week. Yeah. Somebody said, the Lord is my shepherd. Can you scream it louder than that here? Just allow him lead you. You will struggle less. Hello? Do you know why you are proud? You are proud because you are leading yourself. If God is the one leading you, you will be very humble. You will know that he will take care of you. Somebody met me some time ago. He said, ah, Pastor, you ought not to be coming to this place. When you are coming, people ought to be coming to you. I said, relax. A young boy like me, who is me? The one leading me is taking care of me. Hello. Allow him lead you. Stop leading yourself. He maketh me to lie down in great pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. What that talks about that God can lead you and lead you into trouble. You are in trouble because you are leading yourself, brother. You see, one of the highest form of arrogance before God is leading yourself. No matter how big a cow is, he can't lead himself from roundabout to a fruit junction. By the time he's getting to Jackpot Junction, the Jackpot boys would have hanged him on the pots, cooking very well and eating very well because he doesn't have the power to lead himself. But when there's the full and guys are the one leading the cow, no matter who you are, bring the gun, they rather die than the cow to be taken. When God is leading you, his integrity is online. When God is leading you, his integrity is placed on the line. He will not allow you to face her. He will rather be not God than for you to fail. Do you know why? He will make you so much succeed that the glory will come to him because he's the one leading you. Can I say this to you? When you allow him to lead you, that your business will just say hi. Shh. You are struggling in that business because you are leading yourself. Allow him lead you. Allow him. Allow him. People today take job without consulting God. That is why they are confounded. Today people get married without consulting God. That is why there are crises in marriages. Allow him. Allow him, brother. Allow him. He leaded me beside still water. Now, look at it. He restored my soul. Restoration is at the mess of leadership. When God leads you, anything the devil has taken for you, he restores it in double fold. That's why I said, yes, the canker one, the power more I've eaten. I, God, will restore. You can't restore when you are leading yourself. Do you know why you can't restore? He will know that you will take the credit. But when he's the one leading you, he always know that you will ascribe the credit to him. Am I talking to somebody here? When God lead you, what happened? See, he leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Not for your home's sake. For his name's sake. 
the reason why you're always committing sin, falling into immorality, falling into all nonsense of sin, that is because you are leading yourself. When you are leading yourself, you are helpless. You are helpless. You can't defend yourself. You can't. You can't. But when he leads you, he sheets you and gives you the ability. You see, the prophet was speaking and he said, it's not by power, it's not by mind, but by what? God leads by his spirit. By his spirit. One of the primary assignments of the Holy Ghost here is for leadership. Is for leadership to give you direction, to give you guidance. That is, you are never confused of what to do per time. You are never confused of the step to take. Allow him lead you. When he leads you, the struggle will reduce. When he leads you, you will never be confused. When he needs you, you will know what to do per time. Lift up your right and say this after him. Say, God, I subscribe to your leading. Say louder. You see, the, another reason why people lead themselves is because they feel they own their lives. They feel they own their lives. You see, Psalm David was speaking. The first word he said, The Lord is my worth. Respond to me, child. The Lord is worth. The word Lord is gotten from the word Hebrew word called ownership. Ownership. The Lord is my shepherd. What are the benefits of God leading you quickly? One, unusual speed is guaranteed. Unusual speed is guaranteed. God can't lead you and you'll be slow in life. Somebody say unusual speed. Say it louder. I'm not hearing that. Say it louder. Unusual speed is guaranteed. Two, supernatural favor answers to you. Supernatural favor. Do you know why? See, let me show you something about the leadership of God. When God is leading you, sir, he goes before you and goes behind you. Now, one of the nature of God is that mountain sees him and bow. Hello? Now, the mountain of disfavor you are trying to present a contract. Now, there's a God that mounts his seas and bow. If there is one strong man there that don't want the contract to fly, when he sees the presence of God, he will just give up. And they will give you the contract. Now, they have given you the contract. He will not stand behind you, listening to what I'm saying now. He will stand behind you to protect you. To do what? To protect you. That is, is before you. To clear the way is behind you to protect you. Can you not say that? It's wisdom to subscribe to his leadership. You are on your own when you are leading yourself. You're on your own. You're on your own, sir. You're on your own, man. You will struggle and it will look as if you are not a Christian when you are leading yourself. There is no city that is difficult. We just have men that are not led. The strongest mountain, the strongest gates in the city bows at the presence of God. Bows at his presence. That is, you can't talk about wealth without talking about leadership of God. Divine leadership. Divine leadership. Leading you in the morning. Leading you in the afternoon. Leading you at night. People have died on time because they never heard God. That strange friend will just call you. Hey, Kene, where are you? Let's go to the bar. Let's go to somewhere. You will just enter your car as you are going. Pa. But when it's the one leading your life, you say, okay, give me some time. What are you saying, Lord? He said, no, don't go. You call by your friend. I'm very busy. I can't come. You have escaped dead. Most of the things Christians suffer is because they never heard God. God can lead you and lead you into trouble. You are the one trying to carry him into trouble by your ignorance, by your by your spiritual deafness and deafness. Allow him lead you. If this is what you heard today is enough, am I right? Allow him lead you. That is divine favor is in leadership. It's leading. It's leading. Guarantees divine favor. <laughs> Supernatural supplies is in his leadings. That is, he leads you and provide. 
it is the job of the Fulani guys, the, the, the cattle rearers, to lead the cattle to where they will eat grass and drink water. God is your chief shepherd. When he's leading you, he leads you to where you will see surplus and enjoy yourself. That is supernatural supply answers to those that God leads. Every true man of God, every true Christian that you see walking in divine supplies, there are men that listens to the voice of God. He said, my sheep will hear my voice and the voice of a stranger, the voice of a stranger, we did not hear. But your own, you are hearing the voice of your mind too much. The voice of a stranger, we did not hear. Whose voice you listen to determines how far you go in life. Whose voice you follow determines what follows you. If you follow the voice of a stranger, dead, shame, reproach, retardation follows you. But when you follow the voice of God, you live in supernatural abundance. I decree, Azuna Lift up your hands to heaven. Peace be by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, your spiritual ears, your optical ears, we respond to the voice of God. Amen. I cause that old of spiritual deafness now. Nah. I thought your amen would be louder here. You see, you don't know what you will do to yourself when you subscribe to the leadership of God. Leadership of God. In business, people have been duped of millions because they never heard God. People have married the wrong set of people before they, because they never heard God. Hear him. Hear him. In every operation of your life, let it be the one directing you. When he directs you, you become a director. You can never be a director of life until he begins to direct you. You can never hear have a voice in this land until you hear his voice. His voice gives you a voice. His voice gives you your place. Will you allow him to lead you this year? You will be a thousand times more. I thought you say better, amen. amen. When he leads you, you are protected. I've said that before, divine protection. He leads you, you are preserved. Now, let me tell you, let me explain that about divine protection. Look at me, everyone. Look at me. Look at me, everyone. When God is the one leading you, he preserves you from evil beasts. Let me show you. Every man has three major source of evil beast. One, the family you came from. Two, the family you got married to. Three, your place of work or your compound. There are people that don't like you in that your office. Don't like you in that your compound. But you don't know. That are going to places to hurt you. But you don't know. But when you ask him to lead you part time, he watches over you. Anybody that tries to hurt you, he embarrasses them. Listen to this. I speak as a prophet. This year, God will embarrass all your enemies. I am talking to you right now. If I be a man of God in the next 48 hours, everyone that has vowed to bring you shame, God will embarrass them. I church your amen will be the loudest here. Shout this after me. Say, lead me, Lord. That is, you are preserved. You are not afraid. When God is leading you, you have confidence. You know why you lack confidence? It's because you don't know who is backing you. If you are a robber and you point gun at me, the gun will drop. I don't need to rehearse it. I don't need to pray it. There's a jacket of divine leading, divine presence. Divine presence. Divine presence. You are struggling too much. Allow him lead you. You are preserved. Preserved from poison. Preserved from poison. He said, when you take any deadly thing, it shall not hurt you. Why? It's in you. It's before you. And it's behind you. You are settled. This year, ba itonai malatu zanabra igado balai.
by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, his leadership in your life will be real. I told you we say vibrating amen now. When he leads you, you naturally operate on unusual wisdom. Wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Everything God has is enjoyed by his leaders. <laughs> you know this song, carry me. No carry their God. Feed their God. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. You know they use me play. Oh. Hold on. That song can only find practical expression by its leadership. It will fight for you. It will carry you. It will not use you play. It will provide for you. Eh? <laughs> by its leadership. Not by you leading yourself, confusing everybody. Today, this one, they will now marry. Tomorrow, no. God also, no, no. This one. For one year, you are proposed to 10 girls. You are stupid. It's not leading you. It's not leading you. See, when you depend on him to lead you, he's proud. He's proud. He's proud. He will look at you, my son. You depend on me. I will show you to the world. I will make you a showpiece. God is eager to show you, but you don't want to follow him. God has no problem taking you any height, but just follow him. Just follow. As a student, your brain will be electrified because he will tell you what to read before exam. You are going for interview. He will tell you what to study and lead you. And you are confused. His voice brings peace. His voice brings relaxation. That is a major key for wealth. Before you even talk about giving, tithing, all those things. See, if you tithe and you don't hear his voice, you still suffer. <laughs> One of the things this covenant practices does is that tithing, giving your first fruit, giving to your prophet, giving to your father, biological father, giving to the poor, giving to the work of God. What it does is that it makes you become spiritually responsible. And it is that spiritual responsibility that puts you ahead of your contemporaries. No, the world will never hear any man that is not spiritually responsible. And one of the primary tests of spiritual responsibility, listen to this, is from the altar prayers. And you generate divine direction from the altar prayers. That is when you wake up on Monday morning, it's not the time to begin to bombard heaven with needs. Lord, today, Lord, 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 Lord. You go to God in prayers. Father, I give you praise. Thank you for allowing me to see this day. Direct my course today. After appreciation is the prayer of inquiry. Direct my course today. God sees from heaven. He said, This one is the responsible child. But some people just say, Father! That contract, that's why they don't have it. You see? And they are confused. And they will tell you, Bombard heaven, Bombard heaven, take it by force. You don't take anything by force in the kingdom. You receive freely. Am I talking to somebody here? When the woman is due to deliver, just little bit, the baby will just come and share. Share. This year, I speak to you as a prophet what nobody has ever handled in your lineage you will be the first to handle them if you are saying amen it happened to you now at the beginning it might not look like it but at the end it will be it God is talking to somebody that job might they might start you with 10,000 at the beginning it might not look like it but at the end, you look like it. That course might not be what you like. At the beginning, it might not look like it. But at the end, it will be it. It will be it. It will be it. How do I subscribe to his leading? Be open-minded. Don't be biased in your prayers. Now you are going to God. You already have in mind. If no be brother Michael in church, I'm not going to marry. And you want to pray? He's not said you don't need to pray. Lord, your will, not my will. That was the prayer that sustained Jesus through his wilderness experience. And the Bible says, after the wilderness experience, God highly exalted him and gave him a name that is above every other name. That the name of Jesus, every knee submit. But they prayed the prayer, your will, not my will. That's the greatest prayer you can pray. Rise up on your feet, somebody.